Welcome back to the I Am Real Estate Show. I wanted to say something about today. Is, um, we're back here with Don Geisler, who is the designated broker and CEO of Indy Realty. And we had some things happen today over the last couple of days with one of our, one of our, one of our hosts. Um, I think, Danielle, you had a relationship change. Yeah, my relationship status on Facebook did change. You know, some people, they say that it's not official until it's Facebook official. So I went ahead and I made the announcement that I am in a relationship with real estate every day. <laughs> Everyone knows it is not changing. It's official. So there we go. I love that. <laughs> <clears throat> I gave it a, a, a good uh, like or love, and I'm like, wait a minute, or should I be saying ha ha? I don't know which. I don't know if I'm supposed to go on the funny route here, or like, oh yeah, this is really cool. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I am very happy. That there's no question about Danielle. Like that. It's good. As we do and do a lot of real estate issues and a lot of stuff, paperwork is one of the things that you have to worry about doing in the real estate world, and people don't realize how much things. How much paperwork has to be done, and how important it is as you as our as the designated broker has to follow the paperwork from the from the agents. How important is you from your agents to make sure that paperwork is correct? Well, I think you know we have systems in place to ensure that our agents are delivering you know top quality service within the parameters of what what is required by you know the code of ethics, laws, rules. Um, and, uh, you know, we're really on top of that. And we have lots of training sessions and lots of forums and lots of groups. And um, we spend a lot of time just making sure that our agents know um, what's going on out there, what the new things are out there, um, and staying on top of stuff. So I never heard anyone say, I, I got into real estate because I love doing paperwork. No. <laughs> that doesn't get disclosed <laughs> until you are. Oh, Raymond's got, <laughs> Raymond loves doing paperwork. I take that back. He is, he's a systems guy. So he really excels at, at putting those systems in place. But most people don't understand just how much paperwork you're doing when you're in real estate. There, there really is a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the things I'm always kind of saying is that we are sometimes guilty of shielding our clients from exactly how much we are doing behind the scenes. <laughs> yes. You know, we whether they say it was a difficult transaction or an easy transaction, there was so much more work than what they understand. And that, that's that's kind of what we do. Yeah, you know? we want it to be something that feels comfortable and where they're not having to carry the stress of a transaction. Yeah. And so I think that is kind of our job to shield them from that. Um, but yeah, there, there's a, an immense amount of accountability that you have when you are an agent because we do have fiduciary duties to our clients and we take that really seriously. We do. And, you know, something that we were discussing a little bit earlier was, you know, that fiduciary duty, um, you know, again, when you're out there looking for a great agent and how do you choose a great agent, somebody that's going to advocate for you. But what concerns me sometimes is that I, sometimes I think that agents can lose sight of what it means to mm -hmm. advocate for your client. Um, does it mean that I beat up the other party and just ring them out to get, you know, five more dollars out of them for the client? You know, I guess sometimes if that's the direction that we're given from the client, but it's not about winning. Like the most important thing that we have to know is, you know, it, I, sometimes I picture, you know, some people getting up in the morning and looking in the mirror like, uh, Rock, like De Niro, <laughs> you know, in the mirror, like, are you looking at me? You know, it, that's not what we're here for. So I like for people to remember that our clients only came to us for one thing, okay? And that is to buy or sell a house. Like they had that goal in mind. Mm -hmm. So when we get lost in, I'm advocating for you so hard that I've beat the heck out of the other side. And so the other side says, you know what, I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. Then maybe we haven't you know, advocated for our agents so or right. for our clients. So I think that we really need to think about that. And win-win, it, it's so important that everybody is looking for the win-win because that's, that's what the consumers, that's what the clients want out of us. Sure. And I think when you start the transaction, getting under contract is is just the beginning. We celebrate that when you have an accepted contract. But that's where a lot of the work begins. Yes. Yeah and how we handle the details of moving forward through the inspection period and and through any repairs and things like that. You know, you want your buyer, like you were saying, to get what they need, 
but you also want the seller <clears throat> to not be so offended through the process that they just go, okay, we're done here. We're not doing anything. Right. We're done. And, and saying, take it or leave it, you know, and part of that is, is dependent on us as agents communicating well and rem remembering that goal of whether we have the buyer or the seller. I think, yeah. sorry, wait, no. no, you go. I think we need <clears throat> to remind the sellers and the buyers that we're there for them. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes if they don't see that from the beginning, that's the kind of the thing that I'm trying to em implore out to everybody I meet, the guys I meet on the golf courses, the guys I meet at the Sands. Hey, if we are not making you happy from beginning to end, then we've done something wrong. And it's not about you knowing how much work we did. It's about you knowing that we did our work well. Yeah, and what I see a lot is, um, you know, that we want our clients to understand how hard that we're working for them, yeah. you know, a lot of times. And so I think we lose sight. You know, I, I had a, a story one time where a, we had an appraisal that came in low. And um, an agent, you know, came to me and said, we've got a big problem. This appraisal came in low. And so then, and we called the client to, who was the seller to deliver the bad news that the appraisal came in low. And so the agent was, was kind of, our, our agent was kind of wound up. It was a long time ago, many years ago. They were kind of wound up about it. And, and we got on the phone with the client and he he proceeded to tell them i'm really outraged and i'm so upset about this and sorry that this happened and the the client literally said well that, that's terrible but the most important thing to me is that we don't lose this deal and we don't lose the house that i'm in contract with to purchase right mm -hmm. and so let's just do it and you know the agent was then like oh no but i'm i'm so outraged and we have to fight this and <laughs> You know, I just kind of literally reached over and muted the phone, <laughs> you know, and I was like, did you hear that moment that the client said, let's move, let's move right. forward. Her goals are to move forward. So that's when we say, I will prepare the document and we will, you know, we will move forward. So hey, sometimes we, you know, we talk, we're really trying to advocate with the best of intentions and in a pure heart for our clients, but we have to listen to what they really want. And, you know, I think that's one thing, too, is, you know, we talk about all the paperwork. There is a lot of paperwork involved. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in order to make sure that the deal is the best for, for everyone involved. But we're really in the, the people business. We're, we're meeting with people. We're talking with people. We care about people. And we want people, at the end of the day, to be happy with what's gone down and to be happy with how things were handled. And we want those relationships. Because what's more important than just the money is the relationship mm -hmm. and the the contracts all of the paperwork that's involved that's how we protect our clients that's how we take care of them and so part of it is shielding them and part of it is letting them know look we've got so many protections in place for you and we want to make sure that at the end of the day there are no scary surprises everything's well done well taken care of because we care about you and sometimes we are tasked with giving bad news but that doesn't yep. mean that we have to give it in such a way that that is We've all that be we respectful. can see. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to be big uh, The entire purchase contract, the entire process is just a, a steady stream of opportunities for things to go sideways and for us to fix. I mean, that's, that's what we do. That's literally what we do. So we can't be looking at it as like everything is a disaster. You're listening to the I Am Real Estate Show. We're here with Don Geiser, the designated broker and CEO of ND Realty. We'll be back on the other side to talk a little bit more about real estate and agents. 